All right, Anthony, here we go, live. Now, now we got this one live, we got this one live. Uh, talking the cut this year, man. 125, you look pretty good today. What's the weight coming down to? You know, you got blue and gold wrestle up next week. What do you gotta do to, to make 125 this year? Well, I start dieting a while ago, you know, eating healthy, drinking a gallon a day, trying to eat clean, drink clean, everything. So I've been doing that for a while now. Just to help my body feel good, getting ready for the season. Now I'm starting to cut it all off. And, uh, you know, I come to practice, I feel good for my diet and everything. I feel hydrated, so I feel good. And I'm uh, just cutting down slowly and slowly, inching down and down and down. And, uh, you know, getting the extra workout in after practice, things like that, riding a bike for 25 minutes, it just helps out a ton. And then, uh, I, you know, we had a conversation with the coaches, you know, they believe that uh, 25 is the best weight class for me, and I put all my faith in the coaches, so, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do for them. And we're going to see uh, see how it goes, give it a run. Bizarre redshirt year for you, riddled with injuries. You didn't get to do a ton of wrestling. The freestyle season did a ton. You're an All-American in the, uh, the University of the Nationals, and, uh, but not a ton of wrestling and open competitions. What were these injuries and what really plagued you last year as a freshman? Uh, well, I actually had a strep throat and mono at the same time. My, my neck and both sides swelled up to about the size of a softball on each side. And uh, my right side never went down. And I had a cyst in my neck that was the size of a softball. In your neck? Yeah, on top of mono. And then I also had a hole puncture in my lung at the same time. In your what? In my lung. You had a hole in your lung? Like a hole puncture. How did this happen? Uh, I'm actually not sure how that one happened. but. Um, so uh, it was like really hard to breathe a lot of the times, and uh, I was actually wrestled at uh, the opens with uh, the the beginning of Brockport with that all of those three like problems, and I think Navy with all those three problems. So uh, you know it was becoming too much. I couldn't. The weight cut was killing me at the time because I had all these injuries, mono, the cyst, the hole puncture. So I, you know, we had a medical red shirt, and uh, that's what we had to do. So the coaches looked back and they said, you know, it's not the year for it. You know, there's too many things going on, not happening. So. Took a step back and said, "All right, it's time to, you know, let you redshirt and whatever. And, yeah, come back with it." And then, uh, like you said, the freestyle season, I got a wrestle, and just, I was itching to compete for that, and I was excited. So I was glad I got to go in uh, all American units. Uh, you know, I uh, took six, but uh, just you got to do better. You know, you want to be the best, so you got to put in that extra work and uh, keep that mindset of being the best. Is there any doubt in your mind, like you can't succeed here and you can't win? And you know, like Nate Thomasella, you wrestled Nate in the state finals, so like six three match five. Three something, you know, a, a yeah. competitive match. This is a you know a situation where that's a guy you've probably been wrestling for a really long time. Northeast Ohio mm -hmm. guy, you're a Northeast Ohio guy. Looking at you know how competitive you've been with Nate in the past. Can, you know, can you be an All-American as a freshman? Can you win here at Kent State? Yeah, I believe I can win here. You know, I, the coaches and everything they do a great job here. Everybody, uh, I have good partners in the room. I have good work ethic and a uh, good diet right now. So all those things are going to play in a factor. So I got to keep getting extra work in and. Uh, Working the best, working my best ability. You know, continually, I come in here and I fix things and work hard. So that's only going to help me out, and I'm just ready to go. I, I think I, the goal is to be the best, and that's, nothing's going to stop me. That's what I hope. Newhouse is a super scrappy guy. Watching him today, he he gave Mac McGuire fits. You and him are probably going to be both wrestling off for 25. I'll actually probably get your match next week's blue and gold. But that guy is just like I'm really impressed with him. When you when you got a guy like that pushing, you got Mac McGuire who's you know in his fourth year. What's it like having good workout partners and guys to, to train and push you like that? Oh, it's, it's great having them in here. Newhouse is a great addition to our team. He's been helping out a ton, you know, me and him drill every day now. And uh, he pushes me, I push him, and we keep getting better. We work on, continually work on things together and help each other out. And same with Mac, me and Mac come in and we drill, work on things, help each other out, figure out what's going wrong with each other. And little tweaks, we're like, hey, why don't you try this instead of doing it like this? Or, you know, that's, that's what you need is drill partners and uh, partners in the room. It's the only way to get better. And, uh, we're pretty close as a team, so it's not like, oh, he's trying to grab my spot. I mean, when the time comes, that's how you're going to feel. But uh, in the room, we're all friends, and we all just want to get each other better to get this team to do the best we can. All right, man. You got anything else for me? I'm just excited for the season. That's about it. I'm ready to go. All right, man. Thanks for the time. Anytime.